Now, guys, I know you've always wondered to yourself, you know what, Ando, you know what's a really good Pokemon card product? It's an ETB. The Elite Trainer Boxes are absolutely fantastic. I love that you get eight booster backs inside of there and a whole bunch of random stuff. But you know what they've always needed? It was a metal pencil case. Um, I'm not exactly sure what to tell you guys other than Pokemon actually made not an ETB, but instead of an ETB, a Pokemon Special V collection box of Rebellious Clash. They sort of just skipped over, didn't even bother making an Elite Trainer Box of this set release, and they went and put out this bad boy right here, which I think is so hilarious because look at the promo card right there. That's a Toxtricity promo, and it's the exact same one that they released in English. They went and also released, it's a really cool design, don't get me wrong, but a metal pencil case. Who the flip asked for a metal pencil case? Timmy? Did you ride to the Pokemon Center? Maybe, I don't know. Then they've also got seven boost packs in there. Seven? Not a whole number. Seven. Yeah, look, the more I look at this product, the more I think I don't know what's going on, and I don't want to know if this is a new version of, like, an Elite Trainer Box they're gonna always make, but... Yeah, they went and put this bad boy out, which I thought was pretty funny, um, because obviously they're trying to play a catch-up with the English set with the promo card. They went and released a pencil case, and there's eight booster packs inside. So, bit of a random box right here. It's really big as well, like, doesn't even fit on the set, which I thought was pretty wild, but... The best part about this bad boy is when you went and picked it up, and if you also went and bought Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Rescue Team Deluxe on Nintendo Switch, at the Pokemon Center, you would get this promo card right here. So I had to call my buddies at Japan National Trade to pick it up, because I was obsessed. I know it's not a holo, I know it's not a V card, I know it's not anything crazy, but how absolutely incredible is this bad boy right here? Look at him, Pikachu, we got uh, Bulbasaur, Pelipper, and Bulbasaur is wearing a bandana along with Pikachu, and then there's like a camp sort of tent right here that's Pikachu's head. This whole thing and the whole artwork, the way it's hand drawn with a flag and Pikachu's tail on it is absolutely incredible. I had to pick one up. I also love that it's got the Japanese logo right there for the new Mystery Dungeon on Switch game. I don't know, I hope you guys like it. I really wanted to buy it to show it off, and I think I'm going to get it PSA graded because I genuinely enjoy the card. It's one of those ones where I don't think it's worth a lot. I think it's like maximum you could sell it for 20 bucks, but the artwork is amazing. So yeah, I thought that was the best thing ever. If you're in Japan right now, go buy the random new ETB box. I don't know what that thing is. And then you pick one of these up, but like pick up the game as well. I don't know if you have to buy the game to get the card, but... It's something to do with only being at the Pokemon Center. So I thought that was really cool. Anyway, so let's open up this thing right here. I'm really hoping the polls are super good because we're doing Rebellious Clash Search the Golden Perserker and we will find it. I promise you guys, if we don't get it today, I've got another random Pokemon Center thing to unbox tomorrow. So we'll definitely find it then. So let's open this up. This is so weird. So that's cardboard. And let's have a look at this pencil case. Oh my goodness, what the fl what the flip? Look at that. It's a legitimate metal. I gotta say, the design is sick. What do you guys think of it? That is actually really epic. It's got like string deer. Is that meant to say like Toxtricity or something? Pokemon card game, really epic font. On the back it says 2020 Pokemon Company. And then let's open it up. Wow, that's pretty nifty. So I think that's like perfect to store your boost packs in. So this one comes with seven different boosters. So you can put those in there. And then pow pow pachow. You can take it to your friend's house or something. So I'll put that one in the back. Now, what? You get a, it's a baggie. Oh, it's a baggie worth of promos. Are you kidding me? Wait, I'm gonna find the scissors. Let's open up, uh, yeah, the baggie of promo card. Alrighty guys, let's see what we, uh, let's see what we got right here. I mean, we've got obviously Toxtricity, which is the same exact promo, like identical, just in Japanese, as the box we opened, the Toxtricity V box, in English. It's weird that a Japanese one comes out after English. And what else is in here, though? Oh, if we get a bunch of these Toxtricities, this would be fantastic, because I think this box only retails for about $15 American. So we got a V, Toxtricity, promo card. Already, bang a video. And the, oh, no, 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 do not tell me. Oh, that's disgusting. That is disgusting. No. It's all energies, boys. 
What is this? Is that just an advertisement? I don't want to know. What is that? Oh, of course it is. It's some kind of like electric Pokemon box, I guess. I don't know. Alright, it's all down to this. We've got eight booster packs to open up in our little lunchbox tin. Or pencil case. I don't know what this is. You probably couldn't fit a sandwich in there, so it probably is a pencil case. Let's, um, <laughs> let's trim the tops of these, uh, seven booster packs up. And let's get into it. Alright, so what's everyone's predictions right now? Do you think this box would actually have really good amazing pulls where we're gonna pull the gold Galarian Perserker? By the way, if we don't pull the card we want this episode, if this video gets 3,000 thumbs up tomorrow, always, the next video, it'll be another Rebellious Clash opening, which is the latest set over in Japan, and we're gonna find that gold card. But without further ado, let's get this party started, Pelipper, and uh, get our grind on, because already we've had a fantastic start. Two amazing promos, and then we go and add Falling V card straight away to the V stash. That is epic. I love this card and I really want it in a full art. I've actually got quite a few of these. I think it only goes for about five bucks, but really hoping we can get maybe a full art variant. Uh, maybe I want to say a rainbow rare of anything. This episode would be so sick because I pulled a rainbow rare Toxtricity in the last Rebellious Clash opening and it looked fantastic. I don't know what it is about these Japanese rainbow rares in the V form. Oh man, it looks good. We got Lotad and then we've got a regular uncommon. That's how Japanese do it. They're a bit savage. Only five cards a pop and you aren't guaranteed a regular rare. Alright, and then what do we got here? It's another one. It's another sick rare! Oh my goodness, it's another full art sick rare Dragapult V card! I, got, I kid you not, every time you open up a Pokemon Center exclusive box, the pulls are ridiculous. We've opened up three boosters already. Bang, bang, two massive hits. That is insane. Especially this card right here. The only reason why I'm not like absolutely jumping into that Pikachu right now is because we already pulled it. But I think this is still a very valuable card too, isn't it? Dragapult Full Art V card. What makes it insane is it's also a secret rare. Holy smokes, guys. That is epic. I love the way this slime looks like it's dripping down off the back. Holy moly! Okay, this box is definitely worth more than $15. This card alone is worth more than $15. Alright. Is it too much? It's way too much. We cannot ask for anything else. If we get anything above a V card for the rest of this opening, I think they've factory errored packing a couple of these bad boys. We've got wish cast. Because... That's left me speechless. That definitely isn't meant to happen, Clefairy. That's like the best ETB possible. Oh, no way! Oh my, you can't make this up! Holy smokes, it's Giovanni! It's flipping the Giovanni holo card. It's worth like 30 Australian dollars. What? What? No way! I actually pulled two of these the other time. Like, I got my stash of uh, Rebellious Clash, like, Ultra Rares. I pulled two of these Giovannis. Oh my goodness, are they still here? 20 minutes later. Here we go, boys. Giovanni 1, Giovanni 2, and now look at this. Giovanni 3. So these just must be so playable, because they're not that ultra rare. Like, we've pulled three of them now. That is nuts. Okay, Giovanni right there. Put you at the back. Holy smokes. We have two boosters left. Who decided there's going to be seven, um... Boosters in here. Like, what a weird number. We got Snorlax Uncommon. Not too bad. Electabuzz. And then... Oh my goodness. It's another V card. This time, it's my Lotic V. Okay, this is nuts. I need everybody to go... I'm going to literally link Japan National Trade. I'm going to link the eBay down below. J you got to pick one of these up. You get a pencil case. And it's metal. If that doesn't sell you, look at these pulls. Is this for everyone? Or is this just weird? Okay, let's keep going. The final booster. Oh my goodness. If you are not excited for tomorrow's upload when we're opening up another one of these bad boys, I'd hit that subscribe button right now. Oh my goodness. This this is a good hint, Olina. It's a good hint to what's coming up tomorrow. But let's have a recap. I 
honestly think for the first time in ages, there wasn't one bad pull. I mean, if you want to count the uncommons, maybe, but I didn't even count that because, like, it was so consistent with the absolute bangers, right? Giovanni Holo, the best, the pinnacle of, like, all holo cards in recent memory. It sells for equivalent of, like, I don't know if you pulled five different Farlinks Vs. One holo card there. Anyway, Toxtricity promo as well. In Japanese, you might already have the English one. Farlinks, Milotic, Full Art V Dragapult double up right there, as a secret rare as well. Then this. I still think this is like one of the best balls. I love it. Oh man, Pokemon, you've killed the game again. Love your lunchbox. Let me know what you think in the uh, description below. Is it, a, I mean, the comment section? Is it a lunchbox? Pencil case? What, what are you going to store in here? I don't know. Booster packs? It's too big for cards. Too small for jumbo cards. Anyway, on that bit of trivia, I'll see you tomorrow. Click the subscribe. It's going to be a banger. Alright guys, keep on gaming.